not a historian, he's a textual scholar. And uh, that's what Bart Ehrman was trained in. You may remember in my last video, we took a look at a clip from Capturing Christianity with William Lane Craig, where he smeared Bart Ehrman's academic credentials and implied that he's lying about being a historian. So obviously Capturing Christianity takes it very seriously when somebody represents themselves or rather misrepresents themselves as a historian. So let's take a look at the most recent so-called historian on Cameron Bertuzzi's program. We were talking about the Shroud of Turin and I've got a shroud expert. His name is Guy R. Powell, who's... According to Capturing Christianity's description of the video, Powell is a shroud expert and a part-time historian. Wait, part-time historian? What is that? So I went on Powell's website, and wouldn't you know it, he's a marketing strategist. Here's a couple of his other books. This expert on the shroud isn't an expert at all. This part-time historian isn't even a historian at all. I guess part-time here means amateur? Anyway, I guess Bart can start referring to himself as a part-time New Testament historian. But when Cameron says this amateur, or I mean part-time historian, is revealing a secret history of the Shroud, what does he mean? Let's hear from Powell about his book on the Shroud to find out. It was, I didn't write it as a as a history. I didn't say, you know, at 9 a.m. this happened, and 10 a.m. that happened, and 11 a.m. that happened. What I did was I added fictional characters amongst some real characters. And I, and I made a story out of it so that I put then the reader back into that time so that he can sit by the campfire, talk about the ships that are sitting in the, in the, uh, you know, in, in the bay, they're about to invade, what they're getting ready for, and feel then the emotion and, and what's actually going on at that time. And I did that for 14 separate stories. So my first story starts. This isn't a historical book written from an expert on the Shroud of Turin. It's Shroud of Turin fan fiction written from the imagination of a hobbyist. So why did Cameron have this guy on again? He's not a historian, he's a textualist.